So we're with assistant manager Rob Sadler following the 2-2 draw away at Gainsborough Trinity. Rob, that was a well-deserved point on the road this afternoon, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I thought it was a good game. Um, just said that to Neil, their, their gaffer. I think he's got a good side together, good young side built on the, um, the success they had last year and the progression. Um, and it's a tough place to come. I think only Lancaster have come here and won in the league in August, and I said that to them before. Uh, I think they've won seven on the bounce, something along, along those lines. So we knew it was going to be tough. But every away game, uh, every game in this league is tough, especially away from home. So I think, yeah, really pleasing point. It'd have been a travesty if we didn't get a point. Um, I suppose the disappointments are that the, the times we conceded, uh, penalty was on 14, and we've come straight out second half, and it's a poor set piece, 48. But credit to the lads again; they've dug, dug deep, and as you said, got a well-earned point. Scott Bacor, um sort of gave us that advantage with a, a death header, a proper striker's finish, I suppose, uh, with, with his head the first half. And then Ethan Kershaw with um, uh, a sort of rounded off a superb move forward uh, to, to draw, bring us back level. Um, that, that must be pleasing, but both goals, because they, they, we looked tenacious, we looked attacking, and we looked like a, a proper Coles outfit, didn't we? Yeah, pleasing for both as well. Bax has been excellent since he's come in. He's exactly what we missed last year. He's clever, he's savvy, he holds the ball up is a focal point and, and at times we did struggle um, just to get up the pitch last year and he gets frustrated at times with, with you know with, with, with not maybe scoring as many as he'd wanted so I'm pleased for him and it was a great ball by Laugh and a great header and Kirsch the same you know he's, he's he's been on the bench a couple of times in the last uh, last couple of weeks so I think there's a bit of frustration there for, from him which is great which is fine and you accept that but to then come and perform like he did today and get a goal and he could have had a couple more mm. uh, excellent it speaks volumes of the character absolutely and uh, a quick word on the, on the travelling support again you know a, a coach load of supporters from Everton and they, they made their voices heard over the 90 brilliant excellent again and I think if you look at us last year you know it's no secret we went away from home and we kind of we, we tried to steal points I think you know if you look at what we've done this year at FC United at Warrington um, Lancaster we've come here South Shields we've given it a go mm -hmm. and I think they recognise that mm -hmm. you know so we've, we've come here we've not sat in we've really tried to go after them and, and I thought it was a good game and the fans were excellent and it just gives you that little bit you know extra 10-15% especially at the, the last uh, 15 minutes of the game and yeah I'm oh. I'm glad they're going to be sent home happy. Um, I'm sure the beer will be flowing on the coach. Uh, the game's coming thick and fast as usual. Warrington Rylands on Tuesday. A team promoted um, last season, but they, they've certainly settled in well into this division, haven't they? Another good side. You can just put any insert name here at, the, at this level. It's every week. So I said that it, it, before the game. You know, we, we've, we've picked up four points at home against Ashton and Belper, which we're pleased with that return. It's a good point here, and we want to go and build on that uh, on Tuesday night. But that's going to be a, another tough game. And, they expect that as a group now and that's what they're doing they're learning they're getting used to the level they're adapting and we're picking up some good points brilliant cheers Rob thank you cheers mate